welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is a profile on Mr. Edwin Sanders, the gubernatorial candidate for Tennessee. And of course, we're fortunate to have with us this morning uh, Mr. Sanders to talk about his uh, political ambitions here in the state of Tennessee. And of course, uh, Mr. Edwin Sanders, uh, let me welcome you to the show this morning. Dr. Haney, thank you very much for having me. It's an honor to be here. And to tell you how delighted we are to uh, have you here to uh, talk about uh, some of the things that you've been involved in uh, for the last many years before you uh, became involved in uh, politics. But let's uh, start off, uh, Reverend, uh, by Mr. Sanders, by giving you an opportunity to uh, talk about some your background, your education, and some of the things that were important in terms of eventually leading you to uh, this particular seat, and to talk about your gubernatorial candidacy. Let's start it off by right. giving well, you an opportunity to do that. Well, thank you very much. Actually, I'm a native of Tennessee. I was born in Memphis. Uh, after uh, my first 18 months, though, my parents moved to Lebanon, Tennessee. My father was a United Methodist minister, and he was actually fairly openly mobile in the Methodist Church. And you know, in the Methodist Church, if you're openly mobile, that means you move every two years. Thank you. So we managed to live all over the Central mm -hmm. South, and even uh, uh, not only in Tennessee, but in Arkansas as well. So we were in Lebanon, then in McMinnville, then Nashville, then Little Rock, Arkansas, then Pine Bluff, Arkansas. And then my dad died when I was just 11 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, my mother decided it was best for us as a family to go back to Memphis, mm -hmm. where really the nucleus of our family was. And we went back there, and I graduated from Melrose High School uh, in 1965, right there in Memphis. But you know, it's been a tremendous experience for me because one of the things that I have a, a real sense of familiarity with is the entire state of Tennessee and actually rural living, urban living, small town living as a result of moving around a lot. Uh, I actually went to a two-room schoolhouse as my first school, a little place up in Wilson County called Lehman's Corner. Mm -hmm. uh, and my mother was actually one of the teachers there, mm -hmm. but uh, that was where I started my educational experience. Mm -hmm. But then was able, like I said, to graduate from a fine inner city high school, Melrose High School, which prepared me extremely well. I went from there on to Connecticut, uh, to Wesleyan University, where I studied as an undergraduate. was really very fortunate to have that experience. It happened to be one of those points in history when the windows of opportunity were just opening for African Americans to go to universities in the Northeast that historically we had not been present in significant numbers. And that opportunity then allowed me to be able to experience a number of other learning situations that were very beneficial to me. I uh, actually went from Wesleyan to, to Yale Divinity School. I did not graduate from Yale Divinity School, but I was really blessed to be able to matriculate there, to have the experience, the exposure, and to begin my theological education there. Uh, but after uh, just a year at Yale, one of my good friends, uh, John McGuire, was called to be the president of the State University of New York at Old West Barrett, mm -hmm. and uh, asked if I would go and be a part of a team to actually start that university from its very inception. Mm -hmm. So I have a, a, a very unique experience in being a part of a major institution of higher learning from its inception. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after two years there, came to Nashville, where I was really blessed to be able to join the Fisk University family mm -hmm. and also be involved in working on some initiatives that were really designed to figure out how the various institutions of higher education in Nashville to be more effective in working collaboratively mm -hmm. uh, in doing things. And uh, the Nashville University Center, which you probably remember, mm -hmm. was very much a part of uh, this city's um, academic community at the time. And I got involved with that and worked between especially uh, Vanderbilt, uh, Fisk, and TSU mm -hmm. on a number of initiatives. So um, all of that would you know, has, has been a part of what has shaped my thought about a lot of things, not the least of which is that one of the uh, disciplinary uh, mm -hmm. focus for me was always uh, anthropology and interdisciplinary studies. Mm -hmm. And I think what that has done for me that is significant in terms of coming to this gubernatorial race is that it's helped me to learn how to think of, of issues mm -hmm. uh, in, in integrated terms, not to see things so narrowly as far as the compartmentalization of an mm -hmm. issue that you don't you know, appreciate the, the ways in which there are false currents that impact situations that need to be brought into the equation of consideration mm -hmm. in order to be effective in developing responses. I think that's going to be an especially significant gift for me in terms